you are welcome to Jerry Royal channel. If this is your first time please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get latest updates on the British royal family. For years workers have spoken about how now King Charles III was not the easiest royal family member to work for when he was still the Prince of Wales. From his stand bathing rules to traveling with his own toilet seat, there are plenty of stories out there giving details of some strange and outrageous demands. Now someone who worked for him every day as his personal butler is revealing what the now king was like as a boss. Over the years employees have complained about how Charles does not do anything for himself, therefore, his staffers are expected to do everything for him, including helping him get dressed and squeezing toothpaste onto his toothbrush. Because of that, some of his employees used to call him the pampered prince in the Amazon documentary serving the royals. Inside the firm. Princess Diana's former butler Paul Burrell explained, the former Prince of Wales has grown up in such a privileged lifestyle that he does not have the mechanics to choose for himself anymore, absolutely everything is done for him, Burrell also suggested that on one occasion, he rang me from his library, and he said, oh Paul, a letter from the Queen seems to have fallen into my waste paper bin, would you pick it out but, Grant Harold, who served Charles from 2004 to 2011 has painted the now King Charles quite differently, speaking on behalf of OnlineCasino.ca, Harold said Charles is a calm and collected person, and according to Harold as a boss, Charles was quite polite and very chilled, he added that I feel really proud that I have got to know and worked for a man that is now the king, I think the nice thing, the positive, a lot of the staff have stayed, a lot of them do not leave, they don't move on, I think I'm one of the fewer one of, the only ones who is a former butler that's gone. Today, Harold works as a British etiquette expert. The ex-royal butler stated that Charles really enjoyed the Christmas holiday, as did the rest of his family telling Slingo. I'm pleased to say there were no Scrooges. They are all Christmas-oriented from what I saw. Harold also shared what kind of gifts Charles would give him and other staff members around Christmas time. I used to get gifts from King Charles, and he once gave me china cups and beautiful glass tumblers, Harold added, he used to give all sorts of things, like one year I got a tin of salmon, it was funny little things, but maybe something where he thought Grant could like that, thank you for watching, please subscribe for more news about the royal family.